Hello, this is Freeman Heiser, and welcome to the Simple and Basic Blender Guide tutorial series. This tutorial, we're going to talk about how to make a fast and basic human mesh in about 10 minutes. This is what we'll end up with right here with mesh and armature. So you can see that it also has an armature, which is really good because if you want to start doing some poses, you can do that. See, you can select that bone and just move that around. We'll get into that a little bit more later, but this shows you pretty much how to do that. I'm going to go right into here. This is your basic splash page when things come up. And if you want to get to this point, this is where we're going to start. We're going to start, first of all, by just explaining a couple things. This is called your 3D window. And within your 3D window, you can see there's this cube, and that always starts out that way. What we're going to do is we are going to make sure our arrow is here. And I just turned on right here in the left corner this mouse button so you can see all the keystrokes and things that I'm doing within Blender. So if you have any questions, you can come back to it or pause it. I'm going to go through this pretty quick because I'm trying to do it within 10 minutes. Try to keep it short and simple. And we're going to start by hitting Tab within the 3D window. And this brings us into Edit Mode. If you hit Tab again, it'll bring you back to Object Mode. But now we're in Edit Mode. So we have that cube, and it breaks up all the faces and the vertices on the object. First thing I'm going to do is going to hit Alt-M, and we're going to go ahead and merge all of those little dots, those vertices, into the center so we have one single vertice. And I'm going to move that selector out of the way so you can see. Right there's our center of mass, that yellow little dot, but the vertice is underneath it. First I'm going to hit E, and that's extrude, and I'm actually going to bring up a second vertice attached to the first one just up a little bit. And the way you do that is you hit E middle mouse button, and that middle mouse button, when you pull up your mouse, it locks it to that vertice, or the Z axis, and then you want to left mouse click. So again, that's E, middle mouse button, lock it to the Z axis, and then left mouse click. E, middle mouse button, left mouse click. E, middle mouse button, left mouse click. E, middle mouse button, left mouse click. Now you want six vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this is pretty much making up your backbone, up to your shoulders. So that'll be the top, about where your shoulders will come out. We're going to go ahead and make the head. Again, E, middle mouse button, Z axis, left mouse click. That's the base of your neck, E, middle mouse button, left mouse click. There's the top of your neck, E, middle mouse button, left mouse click. That's the base of your head, and then E, middle mouse button. Lock it to the Z-axis, left mouse click, there is your head. So you have your head, your neck, and then your shoulders. So we're going to go back to the top where your shoulders are. We're going to go ahead and hit E again, and little the middle mouse button, and it's going to go right along the X-axis. That's the red one, and you just want to go ahead and left mouse click right about there. That'll be a good shoulder. And then I'm not going to say E, middle mouse button, left mouse click anymore. I think you guys have got it. And so I'm going to go pretty quick through this. There's your elbow, your wrist, there's your palm, and there's your fingers. And let's go ahead and go back to your palm. Let's go ahead and extend that along the y-axis. We'll make it a thumb right here. And there's your thumb. Now very basic hand. If you want to add more fingers, you're more than welcome to take the time. You can do that. All right. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and I right clicked down here to select that vertice. I'm going to go ahead and hit E again. And let's go ahead and extend that over. Let's bring that down. What I'm going to click on here, this is actually called the 3D manipulator widget. And you can see right there that little button down there where the mouse is that turns that on and off. Well, we're going to come up here and we're going to go ahead and left click on that blue, the Z axis, and pull that vertice right down. Now when it's about right there you want to go ahead and hit E again and let's go ahead and drag that down. Let's go ahead and do our knee. Let's go ahead and bring that down again. There's your ankle. Bring it down a little bit more. Oh, we want to make sure you're on the blue. Right there. And now I'm going to hit 3 on the number pad. That goes right down to our side view exactly where we want to see. Now you can see our thumb sticking out a little bit there from our hand. That's fine. Let's go and hit E and let's bring out our heel just a little bit. And then that's E middle mouse button left left mouse button click again. And we're just going to keep doing that until we get 
somewhat of a foot. We're not going into any of the toes or anything. It's not really needed unless you're going to be doing some things where feet are needed. So there's our object. First thing, when this is done, you don't want to do any of the other legs or arms, and I'll show you why in a second. You want to come over here to your properties menu. Within your properties menu, you have what's called uh, object modifiers. You want to click on that, and you just want to add a few modifiers. The first one you want to do is skin, or I'm sorry, mirror. Add your mirror. You want to add another modifier, which is your skin, and then you want to add another modifier, which is your subdivide subdivision surface. And that gives you this nice look that we can see how our object's turning out as we modify it. Now, the first thing we want to do is come down here to this button right here called Limited Selection to Visible. Just go ahead and click that, and it brings up all of our vertices. Now, make sure your mouse is in that 3D window. Go ahead and hit your A button twice. I'm just going to see how much time I have here. I got about four minutes to go through the rest of this, so I'm trying to hurry with this. What we're going to do is you hit A twice, you select all your vertices, and then what you want to do is hit this mark loose. And notice how with your mark loose suddenly you have a little bit of different texture there. That's good because it allows your vertices to play a little better while you do this as you apply that skin. The next thing you want to do is zoom up and make sure that red circle there. That's your root, where it says mark root. If your root's not there, you just want to select that vertice and then hit that mark root. Then you just want to click the vertice right above that. Let's go ahead and start shaping our character. Well, let's hit this smooth shading first. Hit that button. See how that made it look a little nicer? Now you want to come back over here. Hit Control A. And since it's a female, we want to bring that out a little bit just so that she has more hips. And then you want to bring this up, bring this out. Let's go ahead and just start shaping this a little bit more. And let's go ahead and do the shoulders. They don't need to be huge. If you need to pull this up a little bit, you can. So, and you see as you work with this, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. You can create all sorts of things besides just females with it. You can do animals and males and whatever you want to do. You can do all sorts of things with it. So I'm going to hurry up and just hit the C button. That allows you to select multiple vertices. And then just kind of bring those legs in a little bit closer. And we're going to go right here. Let's go ahead and pull that down just a little bit. Hit Control A. We're going to go ahead and build the head. There's the head right there. And then let's go ahead and hit Control A. Bring that in. Control A. Bring that in. And let's go ahead and bring in the wrist too, just a little bit. And then what you end up with is a very basic shape. And you can see that as you do the modifying on this side, it happens over here. That's why you want to have that mirror modifier in there. Very helpful. All right. And now it looks like I've just got about a minute left here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and hit tab. We went into object mode. We're going to go and hit apply on our mirror. We're going to go ahead and create armature. Then we're going to have to click back on here. And then you have to click on this little cube. Hit parent. Armature, Object, Armature. You want to hit back over here. You want to apply your armature. And then you want to apply your skin. And then you want to go into Edit Mode. And you'll see how our object has changed. Just go ahead and select right here. Hit C. Let's select those. Pull that up. Pull that in. And then you kind of fix those shoulders. And then go around back here. Go ahead and click that that and that. Let's go and pull that out a little bit right there. And you can pull that up too. And then there you have it. There's your very basic character. You can also bring this in a little bit. And hit 1. And so you can save it. And there it is. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, thank you for your time. I appreciate you watching this, and I hope it was useful to you, and uh, help you watch and listen for more in the future. All right.
Thank you.